Hey YouTubers, what's up? This is Alexander530 bringing you a how-to video. Today's video is going to be on how to breed angelfish. So, first you're going to have to select your pair. I took it by chance, but two angelfish and they paired up by chance. Wow. And they did breed a couple times successfully, but all the fry died at around month two. So what they normally recommend is that you buy two, no not two, I'm sorry, six to eight or ten um, small angelfish, put them in the same tank, and let them pair up. Um, you will, out of those four that you have left, you will likely get at least one more pair. So, yeah. Um, and then, to get to the, um, you have to set up a breeding, a breeding tank. So, um, what I recommend is to take out the pair of angelfish that you have, that are already selected and you already know that they are a pair. Put them in a separate aquarium with some gravel, maybe a pot, an Amazon sword plant, real or plastic, some slate, some rocks, and a few hiding places just in case they get stressed. Then of course you're going to need a filter and a heater, obviously, which I'm not going to help you out today. And um, so yeah, give them a few weeks. And during this time, feed them lots of different foods. For my pair, I feed them brine shrimp, flakes, worms, and mist shrimp. And they did spawn. So now, if you want to view the miracle of nature, then you can leave the parents with the fry and just and they should protect them if the fry do get eaten if the parents are fighting it's more likely that they blamed each other for losing the eggs and they're fighting and obviously they're fighting so what I do well I never had this happen before but what you should do is put a separator bet between the two and in a few weeks let them let one go Once they have spawned, um, they should, the eggs, if they're correctly fertilized, they will um, hatch in at least three days' time. Any unfertilized eggs will turn white and will be removed by the parents. So, in about three days, they will hatch and you'll just see little tails or wiggling stuff coming out of the eggs. Then as the time goes by, maybe a day, the fry turn into wrigglers where it is just their yolk sac, the fry, and a thread sticking them to a surface. The parents will move them from surface to surface if they want to, just in case the surface isn't clean. They will scoop them up in mouthfuls and spit them back out onto the chosen surface. Um, the fry feed off their yolk for about five days, which for me is tomorrow. Um, you should remove. You should. You shouldn't remove them. As the day goes on, they will. They will all start swimming. Give them like maybe two hours and feed them their first food. I stick with first bites for maybe the first maybe a few weeks and then I will feed them crushed flake food if you are feeding them crushed flake food you have to be careful not to overfeed them and it is also recommended to start a brine shrimp hatchery um, if you want to learn how just look up brine shrimp hatchery on YouTube so yeah um, just 
Feed them twice a day, as you do with the other fish. Feed the parents. Um, make sure they at least get five flakes during breeding. During breeding. And the babies, they should always have a, um, a red stomach, like the ones that you see in the picture. They should have a red stomach because that signifies that they're full. You have to keep them full. And you have to do a water change once a day because any toxins in the water, they will quickly wipe out a whole spawn. So, and before you put it in any tap water and then treat it, you would have to prepare it in a bucket and siphon it out into the main aquarium as these toxins in the tap water also harm your fish. After a few months, um, they should grow, start getting their form, angelfish form, and if you are selling them, I would recommend waiting at least two years, or maybe just one, like, one and a half year, so that you can give them a reasonable price. Um, some people only like to do it one year, and, but I recommend, I want to get a better sales price, so I'm doing it one and a half. So, um, when your fry do get formed as angelfish, it is recommended that you separate the smaller ones from the bigger ones, so that you can, so that, um, the, the smaller ones get food, enough food. Then, after a few weeks, they can be released with the others. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I covered anything. Pretty much same thing goes with other cichlids that come from the Amazon River. So, yeah, I think I covered everything. Anything I missed, just comment, and I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Thank you. Comment, rate, subscribe, and and um, for all of you that are watching, if you do have a spawn, good luck.